Hey everybody, Fantron here. We're back for more post-commentary. So after we defeated the, uh... Oh god. Those guys. The keep. The Farron Keepers? The Farron Keep guys? I'm terrible. I'm so terrible. I've honestly forgotten. I need to turn my TV down. We're back for more post-commentary. Took me a while to get uh, the rest of the stuff edited down, but uh, successfully I was able to get all four, like the eight hours that I had recorded for both sessions, or and in both for, with both sessions combined, down to two hours apiece. So that was a, uh, oh thank God. There was a lot of extra stuff that I did do in one session that was unnecessary, but we're on this session, and we'll I'll talk about that when we get there. Anyway, we are in the catacombs. I forgot the other word. What? We're in the catacombs now. We got to deal with skeletons. I mean, come on, it can't be a game without spooky skeletons, suspension bridges, and crazy bull. But I believe... Uh, I don't know, I don't remember what, uh, what I edited, so it'll be a surprise. Damn, the dude fell the fuck off. But uh, as you can see, in each sit-down, we, we do get a little bit stronger and whatnot. I mean, it's all pretty obvious at this point that I do take the time to go out and do PvP. I'm hell I'm even doing so right now. If I had a second television um in here, which I thought about doing, too bad my like my actual PC screen does not hook up to the laptop because that would be baller. I would be recording well not recording, I would well I'd be commentating and playing Dark Souls 3 at the same time. Like well at least grinding and doing whatever. I'm only, I think I'm only just trying to enjoy the PvP aspect, because I've never actually, uh, given that, I've never been around long enough in, for the Dark Souls games to give them a shot, because I think by the time I got to Dark Souls 1, I think that was getting around towards the end of its life cycle, and then Dark Souls 2 became a thing. And then, you know, Demon Souls was out well a long time ago, and there's very, like, there's like maybe 20 people that still play that. And I got parried like a bitch right there. He, had, he I don't know how he parried me, though. He has, like, one arm. That's insane. A little unfair, but, I mean, I get that that was a warning. Like, hey, that can happen. That's, I think that's the first time in a while that I got parried by an enemy in this game. If not the first time in this game that I got parried. I'm, I guess I'm scouting the area. I'm trying to see what else is up around me before I go ahead and take this plunging attack but we will be back to live commentary uh, as far as I'm concerned this weekend for me it'll be June uh, so Dark Souls Dark Souls 3 will be done and then we'll be starting Bloodborne uh, probably the next following week if not the same weekend and Bloodborne will probably be really fast what am I looking for? Ah, switching to bleed resistance, yes. <laughs> I don't know why I take it off. I really don't know why I take it off. I know why I took it off in the last one, but I should have just put it right the fuck back on. Everything in this game gives you bleed. Every fucking thing. Like, holy hell. I do love the armor that I have on, though. The Fallen Knight armor. It looks good. It looks really good. It looks like something like a, a, good, a good cosplay idea. I would imagine that it's comfortable as shit to wear and hot. Like, we're in catacombs. There's no AC in here. It's fire, rocks, and dust. It's just the worst thing ever. And not to mention, I'm on fire. Mystical fire, I guess. But I'm undead. But I don't get ugly in this game, and that's kind of weird. Uh, I know there is hollowing in this game, but I have not... I have yet to experience it. So, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just exploring the area because that the other way looked like a way down towards more uh more game <laughs> and i was just like mm, no what am i doing ah pulling out the crossbow it's funny i did this like during the weekend but i haven't had the time to just sit there and uh i haven't had the time to sit down and record this just yet These enemies piss me off. I like them, but they piss me off. They're like skeleton ninjas. Or skeleton assassins, whichever one. But damn. What? They move like how they like how you do in Bloodborne. Like it fucking fucking sucks. <laughs> and then look at all that bleed damage. Holy shit. Or ble you know, bleed uh status ailment. Whatever.
You know what's funny? Most of these didn't lie to me. I was expecting a whole bunch of them to lie to me, but I guess they didn't. Uh oh, it's the one arm parrier again. Never mind. Now these guys do have a gimmick. I don't know how they keep respawning. I guess they just have a chance to respawn. And his eyes were white. So, if I mean, you see that their eyes are white, they will respawn. But I don't think I noticed that. Or no, maybe I did. I don't know. I'm still rocking the broadsword. Same weapon from the beginning of the game. And we're just about a little... Uh, we're almost halfway through the game now. Uh, in terms of bosses, anyway. Optional and other... Well, not optional and otherwise. Well, no, no, no. Almost. 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 But, yeah. And these ladders, man. I swear to God. But, damn, I really can't believe, like, this is... Yeah, I knew better. I knew better. I stepped on it on purpose to see which way it would go. But, yeah, watch out for that shit. He's got these enemies well placed, too. So I sure as hell can't see him. Nope, oh, there's one. Without a head. And without an arm. If he parried me, I would have been, been pissed. Like, he can't even see. He's just flailing. And it le everything leads back to down here. So I could have went this way and took the other way to get down, but... I instead chose to jump, so I get that jump on the uh, bigger guy. And these guys' eyes are not white, so I don't have to worry about them respawning. Again, I don't. I actually don't know why that happens. And I stop because there was a thing right there, a trap ahead. Be wary of trap. And then that guy's pointing up, <laughs> and I was just like, "What?" It's like I don't see anything. So I'm trying to think, the only thing that could cause me trouble like that is either, like, somebody throwing down lava or fire or something like a boulder just rolling down, like, Indiana Jones style. So I heal up. Good lord. Go. Run. And I hear it coming, too. There it is. Jesus. Fuck those guys up. And then I didn't expect it to move back. I was just like, I was looking at it. I was like, oh, it'll probably keep going. And it, it moves back. So it's like a living skeleton. That's bullshit. <laughs> and it's coming right back. Luckily, they got these little dips in the side that you can walk through. But there's a bonfire ahead, but we can't get to it just yet. like the skeletons in this game <laughs> they're they're headless they got a <laughs> they got a funky little design but I don't there's a there's a spell that they're using and I forget what it is but we, we everybody does eventually get access I think you every spell that gets done to you I believe you have access to you said spells It's funny, I, I got all turned around. I didn't even know where we were at for a second. And I believe some of these barrels actually have the spell in them. It's the ones that are closed. But I, I'm rolling through, so I don't see any of them. But yeah, it's the closed ones. See? Yeah, it's the ones with the lids on them. And I did it again. And there was another one. Like, if I'm not fucking careful, I might wind up killing my damn self. Jesus. Just wasteful. Wasteful with that. <laughs> and I stepped on it, too. Fucking damn it. Does that one have a scythe? No, it's just a sword. Okay. And he's got a spin. 
Yeah, you saw that, right? The sword was still moving. So let's keep going. And more of those fucking jars. Now, this late way does lead to, I think it leads to the bonfire, if I am correct. The amount of damage I put out, like, generally I don't think a lot of enemies do give me trouble unless they're supposed to, like the knights and whatnot, where I have to take a pause, you know, more or less, and figure out, okay, how the fuck am I going to tackle this? Like, I should just go around, see if they'll attack, go for the backstab. Same strategy as always. Ooh, didn't get him. Didn't get him that time either. Now I wonder if they can actually activate the traps themselves, like if they step on it, and then they get hit with it. I don't think I've experienced that in, a, in this game yet, but I'm assuming this is how they can parry, block, and do all that other jazz. I would assume that they can. I'm getting a good look as to what's down there below, and it doesn't look pleasant, so I'm not. I don't think I'd jump down. I better not. That doesn't seem like something I would do. I think I, I think because I I'm like, well, there's a way for me to go down there. There's paths and shit. So don't jump down there. There's a whole bunch of shit, and if you're embered up, there's gonna be a phantom, a nasty phantom waiting for you, so you don't want to deal with that. Let's give you a chance to ember up. Yeah, and for some thought, the floor was like gonna collapse. Oh, there's another one. things move fast. Well, at least I was aware of them. So now I'm checking corners and shit like that, but everything's all good. I'm just making sure he doesn't, like, for some, yeah, like that one just bust through the gate, but there's a bonfire right here, so there should be no reason for me to be paranoid. But then again, this is Dark Souls. Help me require a head. Why? <laughs> it's not that bad here. And actually, this is probably one of the easiest bosses. Like, the boss that we're going to get to is probably the easiest boss in this game. I shit you not. Like, I don't even think you have to, like, be high level to fucking take him on. And I'm keeping the shield up just in case. You know, but for the obvious reasons of it just gets my get chipped by it for some reason sitting in that little thing. Just because the game wants to be a dickhead about it. Now, I know that it goes all the way down. It fucks those guys up quick. More of this dumb shit. Guys, post commentaries. So weird. So weird for me. And honestly, I can't, I can't even think of the last time I did a post commentary. Oh, maybe DMC uh, 2013? Could be a strong possibility. But that was intentional, so I was preparing myself for that. But, like, impromptu, oh, you gotta do it now. And then I'm, I'm spying those things up there on top of the fucking ceiling. Giant rat over here. Mm -hmm. 
try life exactly, just or try fire. Oh, because I'm a stubborn son of a bitch, I don't ever review my weapons with stuff. I try not to. I try to do it as raw as I possibly can. But the thing is, in this game, I swear to God, they don't last long. Like, they, I feel like after, like, a few hits, they're, like, that's it. You know, it's, that's all you get. Damn, if my stamina wasn't so shit in this game, holy hell. This is the PC, obviously. This isn't a. This one isn't a player. I know that for a fucking fact. Players, I, I don't have them set to their like uh, to their player, their you know their actual avatar's name. I have it set to their you know gamer tag thing. Or right, plus just might be covered. So then I can differentiate the difference as well. And he... My stamina was all the way up and he still caught me. Does he kill me? If he does it, he... I don't think he does. I think he gets real close. And it's funny because, um... I think what I did later on... And I'll probably explain this again... I actually fight him for real, but he's not a dark spirit. He's actually just, you know, there. And if you beat him uh, in the little uh, in this in the optional area that we're gonna go to uh, in the next sit down, you get a sword and a shield. So you get that big ass honking piece of goddamn whatever the hell. Um, I can't even wield it. Like, the strength requirement is like 50 or some shit like that. There's, n I can't wield that. He's just two-handing the shit out of it. So I'm pretty sure I could two-hand it, but I couldn't... It's so fucking heavy, like, it's not worth me doing so. Like, I'd have to strip myself of all my clothing and then be able to use it. Which I've seen a, a lot of players in uh, PvP and PvE do that. They just strip themselves of their clothing, because... Honestly, I think when it comes to the that stat, even with the Havel's rings and shit like that, like I need so much more to be able to fucking lift other things. Like the requirements feel like they're stacked up pretty high. I'm taking no chances. But yep, there you go. You get a new emote and Night Slayer's ring. I'm pretty sure there's more, uh, there's more goddamn spears that we'll need to be facing. I'm pretty sure we do. Yes, and then we are in the catacombs, however, so we, we instead, instead of going to On Orlando, uh, was, was it On Orlando? I forget where we were before this. I know, oh, no, 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 where we were, instead of going... To fight a boss early because we could we I, we're at the stat requirements of where we can actually kind of fight one of the bosses early I kind of spoiled the whole on Orlando thing but I think by this point everybody knows um, I was kind of blown away that it was even in the game in the first place my, I wish I still had my initial reaction because I freaked the fuck out I was just like what I was like they brought this back I was so pissed and happy at the same time but I was pretty pissed because I knew I knew what the fuck was gonna, what was gonna happen I think we actually get to that to the end of this part so, no biggie there. Well, not this part, but the, uh, the goddamn sit down as a whole. Because we 
still got quite a bit of mess to go through. And one place in particular is not my favorite place. I've actually found a place that I did not like. And it's because of one enemy type. One. And you have this really fucked off ability. I'm trying to draw all these guys out. Take care of them. They're not even really worth the souls, but they're not really worth the headache of me running into them. Because everything is an object that, you know, it, I can't just run through these guys. So, everything's like a wall that I could be running into, and I don't want to have a horde of these guys standing behind me while I'm trying to back up from the enemies in front of me, you know, if it ever came down to it. I have a broadsword. That thing's itty bitty and has, like, very little. And these guys. Now the thing is, these guys don't home in on you. And it's funny as hell that uh, that these guys are... I was... When I saw them and I saw that he didn't home, I was like, oh my god, they're not like the ones in Dark Souls 2. And I, I was fucking pleased. Like, I did not have to deal with the dumb shit. And I think they were in Dark Souls 1 as well, and they were annoying as fuck too. As a matter of fact, yeah. They were annoying in Dark Souls 1, they were ignoring and annoying in Dark Souls 2, and they're actually pretty normal in this game and if you do uh, if you do get lucky enough you they drop their wheel as a shield uh, I haven't tested it out yet maybe I'll test it out at some point but I'm I'm assuming you get to do some spinny stuff I doubt it but it would be nice to do some spinny stuff He didn't even, like, attack me. Usually the other ones are just on me, and then all the other ones aggro, and they're fucking immediately on me, and I'm losing shitloads of health. See, like, even then, that wasn't even that bad. They nerfed the shit out of those guys for this game. They made the, they made those enemies easier, like, 20 times easier. Ambush ahead. It's not good. There's nothing that I can see clearly in front of me, so it's obviously above me. It's always a lot. I mean, this place is actually relatively short. We haven't, we, we've only been in here long, uh, as long as we have because well, I've been fighting every enemy. Once I don't have any enemies to kill, shit, if I have to, if I just walk, walk through most of these areas, Dark Souls 3 seems like a... Like a lot shorter of a game than um than Dark Souls One. But then again, I think Dark Souls One is probably the harder of the games. You get the teleport off the bat in both, and I don't know. Like I had such a, a much easier time going through Dark Souls Two. Dark Souls One, I made a lot of fucking mistakes, but it's the fact that I was like, okay, I know how to play this game. You don't have to worry about it, and shit. I took no chances with Orsine and Smog and all that. I was just like, no. I was like, we're gonna fight every boss that I know that it actually exists out there. And I did fight every boss. Uh, the ones that at least had a their own little thing. Except the DLC boss. That was the only one.
but now we're on the opposite side of the uh, that bridge there that we were on earlier. And that's another way to activate that little trap. I'm trying to see if it'll fuck those guys up while they're over there. So I can get some free souls just for just for doing that. And those little things I forgot to describe, uh, those do it adds bleed damage. Bleed magic. Who cares? It, it, it basically gives your weapon bleed, so if you put that on top of another weapon that already has bleed, then like the, the katanas. And he fell off. I wouldn't slash that bridge just yet, but that bridge is actually important, and I do show that off later. Uh, basically, what's going to happen when we get over there to that little fucking bridge? As soon as I make up my mind as to what I'm going to do, and not fall off. There's an area down there, uh, an optimal area, that we can get to. Honestly, I could have went to first to elongate this, but I didn't know that it was there until uh, I wound up helping somebody out in their world with this area. So, yeah, there is an area down there. There's even items and shit down there. 
And I did notice that, and I was just like, oh, there's fucking items down there. I was like, how the fuck am I going to get down there? I was like, well, maybe it's just, you know, it's a it's the area after this or something. And that's a player. Don't want that. Thought it was an NPC. So, I took a break. You know, recharged my Estus. And came right back. Not that I needed it. I actually got through this boss pretty much almost unscathed. And I think I used one Estus. But I didn't know particularly what I was going to be in store for attack wise. Well, at least not until I saw the goddamn boss. But, you know, I wanted to be prepared either way. But I, looking back at it now, I didn't need to even do that. I just wasted time. Not that it matters to you guys and, and me, myself, now as I'm watching this. So. It's always got to be a goddamn goblet, doesn't it? Always got to be a goddamn cup. And then it just sits there by itself, and then you got to touch the damn cup. saw these immediately and I was like well giant enemy big ass shiny Zelda ass Nintendo ass weaknesses so I went straight for them and just by destroying one that fast it did all that damage to so I was just like well I guess this is what I have to do I, was, I wasn't sure what, happened, what he was doing for his attacks uh, but apparently he was summoning something or summoning skeletons enemies around him He's not really doing much. Like, at all. So there goes another one. But yeah, that's that's the boss. Look at that. He just dragged to fucking hell. It's the worst thing ever. Well, there you go. That's the easiest boss in the game. Besides the first boss, and you know, himself. And the tree. Well, the tree, I don't know. The tree's kind of annoying, but... Besides the first boss himself... I declared that this is the easiest boss in Dark Souls. And that that is I don't know if that's something to be proud of. It's like a it's like a gimmick type of boss. It's like that Dragon God boss, you know, from Demon Souls. If you don't if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you know, maybe if you're watching in the future you'll see the playthrough and you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, seriously go look that shit up. Go look up Dragon God and you'll think, oh my god, that's fucking terrifying looking. This is one of the easiest bosses ever. Like that, this boss, and Dragon God, I consider to be the easiest bosses in the Soulsborn games. Easiest ones. Hmm. You know what, I definitely should make like a top ten list between all of these fucking games, Neo included, to be honest. Between all these, so yeah, I think once I'm done with this, I'll make a top ten list from this game of what I thought were my, my favorite bosses and then like the easier bosses. Ah, Ithriel, the Boreal Valley. Now this place looks nice. Real nice. 
it's snowing. I'm, I'm actually just like, enjoy I'm like, oh my god, there's snow. I'm happy. I can see trees. Just lead to death. If I fall down. Look carefully, huh? It's a gorgeous view. It's true. It's a very gorgeous view. Very beautiful view. One thing I can say about these games is that they've always, they've consistently just can't started to look better. They've always looked better. They've always felt better to play. From Demon Souls on up, they've it's just only gotten well to me aesthetically better. Uh, the warping so easily kind of irks me a little bit because it's, there's really no consequence to it, and the fact that you can get so much humanity esque items in this is kind of. I don't know, you, all these games, there's always an exploit. It's a video game. You'll eventually figure it out. But I do return back to go ahead and uh, hook myself up to leave, and then I do come right, right back to the front of the little gate there. I wanted to make sure there was nothing behind me that I would have missed. I like some enemy that's ready to jump my ass. I did switch to uh, the sword that we got from the, uh, the, previous, enemy, the previous boss. And it's it's prob it's really cool. I was like, oh hey, it reminds me of that, you know, the Black Knight sword. Being a doll, oh, having a doll in Grant's cash. Yeah, so the doll that we got earlier, from the, not the tree. I forget where we get it from. The doll finally comes into play. And we get to fight this enemy. Which, might I add, becomes a regular uh, enemy later. Well, this isn't a boss, but it's like... This is kind of daunting. You fight two more of these. As far as I know, as far as I've done anyway, you fight two more of these. You fight them in the same fucking room. That shit was fucking pleasant. Now, my problem was with him is that basically, you, as soon as he's, like, his mouth is all the way open, then you have to dodge. But if his mouth isn't all the way open just yet, then you're dodging too early. Or you're gonna have to roll again. And it's hilarious. He doesn't do like a a lightning attack. Did I just go for broke here? I did. I just said fuck it. I was like, he has one hit left. He hits me again, I'll die. I mean, fuck it. Now I think they both drop Pontiff's eye, or one of them drops Pontiff's eye, and we were actually able to get that through soul infusion earlier in the game. Yeah, and I, I even look. Because I was like, hey, I was like, that item sounds familiar. So the other one was the left eye, and this one's the right eye. Um, I don't know if I'd use either of them, but... I mean, at least I have them. And I'm trying to get as many of these items as I can, because I'm going to at least try to play until the community dies off. Uh, you know, when it comes to the PvP and the PvE stuff. So I'll probably play through this game a good few times. Maybe four more times before I get to the point where I'm like, okay, no more story, just multiplayer. Alright, and we lit the bonfire. Give me one second. Okay. Had to go use the restroom. Ugh. And that stuff reduces uh, frost, I believe. Or frostbite. sure what I was looking for, but... Yeah, I thought it was an enemy, and I was just like, nope, not doing that. You're not gonna walk up on me like that, but it's just a ghost. I was making sure there was nothing else here. Now, the, the dumb thing is, this sword that I'm using is not as... is not... is not more powerful than the broadsword that I have. And the materials required for it, I believe, are Titanite scales, uh, which are 
pretty damn rare this early in the game, so... Well, at this point in the game. Unless I find a whole bunch of those little lizards and they happen to drop them, then I'm not getting any of them. And we got these mage... Uh, Skimitar using bastards and those uh whew, those or curve swords I don't know what the hell they are curve swords or scimitars or falchions who knows what are falchions and scimitars the same thing I, I don't think they are I don't think they are I'm not that fucking ignorant but no way that it should be the same you know what now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever been to that area I'm gonna have to I have to go back and find out where where the hell that is and how do I get in there. What that is. That'll probably be something that we can do before we continue on, but there's two there's two paths I wind up finding out while I was fucking around in the game. Uh, there's two paths that I can go to in that game, or from where I'm at. One leads to an optional boss, which I do plan on fighting, and I guess the other one leads to uh, the rest of the story but my goal is to kill all the optional bosses like every boss I can kill non DLC related I will go for provided it doesn't require some extreme NPC type of quest shit like uh, Dark Souls 2's did but it just requires me to give up human effigies which I'll have to grind for those like I said we'll eventually go back to Dark Souls 2 but I'll save all the, I'll save that for the DLC portion so I'll do that and then I'll do the DLC afterwards and I highly doubt there'll be any chance to do PvP uh, in there because I, I have no idea where everybody's struggling at in that game right now but in this game it's pretty easy to find the struggle points oh I actually made a friend uh, playing it the other day he could not get past one boss that uh, that I'm supposed to be going to right now in the game not here, but uh, where we're current, where we're supposed to be at currently, uh, live, and man, he get hit. He gets hit once and he's done. And the boss chases the shit out of him. It's fucking hilarious. But anyway, back to these books. Each of these guys will hit us with frost, with frostbite, and I see that there's a whole bunch of enemies coming up. So I'm just like, let me go ahead and put this up here. I do believe it requires a little bit more stamina for me to go ahead and use that because at the end, my stamina is not very good. Which I'll ch I change that later. I do I do work on upgrading that as well. Just like I don't want to have to consume an item just to be able to swing a few more times, but it'll be like at least to where half of my health is, and then my health goes up a little bit more, but not too much more. So. And that's only because I got tired of being in uh, when I get summoned to another world or I invade in another world. My health is like fucking low as hell. And all my invasion bits during my actual let's play, I completely cut them. Not that m some of them were unsuccessful. Um, most of them because we had numbers and trying to work out really well. But that's because I was part of a certain covenant those people just get summoned in like fucking flies on goddamn shit. So it's not that big of a deal. We're actually almost done with this first recording part here. We only got about two minutes left on the clock, so. Ooh, got him. These guys are going to cast spells no matter where you're at, no matter what you're trying to do. If they see you, they will try to cast a spell. And, uh, ooh, that's, that's just not fun for anybody. And I wanted to get through all this today, but I realize each of these are like 40, 50 minutes apiece. And I don't, I don't, I do not have that type of time. Just don't have it. And I'm surprised that I was able to dodge all of that hot garbage just now. That, that, look at that. Jesus. Oh, but don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be dealing with a boss that's just like that pretty soon. I think only in this part, I think we only take care of, like, two boss. Yeah, we only go through, like, two bosses in this. In this whole sit-down. And then the next one we go, we fight four. But 
that's because I knew one of them inevitably I was going to have to fight. I knew in the area in which I was going to. I knew about the optional one. And then, uh... Optional one, story one, the other story one. Yeah, there was two story ones that I knew I had to go in for and fight. But, anyway... Looks like we're just about done here. We haven't reached uh, the area just yet. We're going to go ahead and take that thing out, though. It's probably going to drop the stuff I need. But anyway, yeah. I will see you guys next time.